Okay, hello ladies and gentlemen. Well, we got a 180 inch sleeper here to show you. You know, I've been doing several of these. I've sold a bunch of them. Matter of fact, I've sold everything that we've videotaped so far. So I thought it's time that I videotape one that I've still got in stock. I do have about uh, four or five in stock right now, so you can take some choices as far as the interior is concerned on them. Hey, they're all gonna be equipped with the Volvo 500 horse 1850 torque engine. I'm gonna show you uh, a little bit on the inside here of this particular truck. We're popping the hood. Of course, it's nice on a Volvo that you can pop them so easy. <clears throat> you don't have to get out on the front and lean way back. And then I'm gonna show you, you know, the, the uh, I wanna show them uh, the engine, of course, it's the 500 horse, 1850 torque, a lot of power on the on the 13 liter engine. You don't need a lot of uh, cubic inches like we used to. And we look down here, and there's a stabilizing bar, and that bar does wonders to keep the truck from rolling side to side. If it tries to do this side to side thing. It has to twist that bar and it resists it very heavily. So it really makes the truck drive incredibly nice. So we got a 20,000 pound front beam. We have 16,000 pound springs. It's an over the road truck. I don't have to double frame it. I don't have to go to a vocational truck. I can do it right here on an over the road truck that's meant to be put out on the highways and byways and, and move. I'm going to close the hood. Of course, on the Volvo, you just shut it and automatically locks for you. We're going to come on back. We have a, a empty toolbox here. I don't know if it's unlocked or not. It is. So we have space here for whatever you want to haul in it. And here's going to be your 7,500 watt Onan uh, quiet generator. It happens to be locked up. You've seen it in there before best generator that we know what to buy on the in the industry 150 gallon fuel tank folks so total we got 300 gallon fuel tank capacity here's the exhaust for the uh for the wabasco heater we'll look at a little bit later durabrite wheels all the way around michelin tires all the way around we got the uh an air slide but also an air release no no lube fifth wheel so you don't have to uh, get out and uh, pull the lever in case it's hard to reach up underneath there for some people. You can do it right from the dash, pull forward a few inches, dolly down of course, and pull out from underneath the trailer. <clears throat> We're going to come on around and Anna, I would like to have you show them the back wall. It's a four inch pleat back wall, so it's got a nice uh, look to it. Those lights all turn red at night when you want to uh, turn them on. Again, we're uh, looking at the Durabrite wheels and the uh, Michelin tires, the 150 gallon fuel tanks, additional storage space here. And now we're gonna go inside this 180 inch sleeper. And of course the step came out to meet me, so it's easy to walk on up into the end of the sleeper. Normally we've been uh, showing people the up in the cab first, but for the fun of it today, let's go ahead and, and show them the, uh, you know what? I've been, I've been telling people wrong all along here. I've been telling people all along there's something wrong. This is a 168 inch sleeper, it's not 180. You know what? I just now looked and saw the size of the, uh, of the shower and thought, hey, this is a standard shower. It's not the 180 inch shower. So uh, folks, I apologize, but I'm not gonna back and uh, re-videotape it. Uh, but you're looking at a 168 inch Volvo uh, on a 317 inch wheelbase. Notice that, how we can keep the wheelbase down and still put such a nice sleeper on it. Go ahead and show people inside the shower. Got the toilet, of course. We got the shower, we got the mirror to, so that you can get all pretty in the morning. We're set up. Uh, I go ahead and I'm going to show them some other things here. This is uh, 
I thought I would show them the, uh, the remote control for the rooftop uh, fan, the exhaust fan. Here is the thermostat for your rooftop AC and heating system. Here is the controls for your uh, inverter. One of the things you'll find out that I've been doing for a number of years now is putting in a 2800 watt inverter and it does several nice things for me we'll get into that i'm also putting an oil or a, a water level gauge so in the water tanks you can see how much um, water there is in the tank without having to uh, crawl down and get on your knees and look into the tank you can see it right here hey we got the microwave convection oven of course we got the household style refrigerator Instead of the, it's a 110 volt refrigerator instead of the um, uh, Norcold that they were using that uh, was presenting with some challenges. We got a lot of, we got a lot of room in the, at least very nice refrigerator. Hey, we got, uh, <clears throat> we got a storage cabinet here. In this particular truck, I have put a second water tank. So you do lose. You do lose some of your wardrobe space, but I put it up here because I personally, and I hear from a lot of you folks, I personally like the drawers down in the lower cabinet so you can fold your clothes and store them away and not using as much, uh, you don't use as much story or uh, hanging space. So that's where I put the water tank up there. People ask me occasionally why I put it in the top. All right, uh, I want to show them one other thing that I'm doing on my trucks is the Webasco heater. Matter of fact, uh, I had it on here a little bit ago, and when we came in here, we got the door open now, but it's about 22, 23 degrees outside, and it was just nice and toasty warm here. Uh, Anna's shaking her head. Yes, it was even hot in here. I had it set a little too high. So the Webasco heater is a wonderful way to heat these bunks and not have to run the generator it uses very little fuel so it's much more um, uh, energy efficient and uh, and uh, cost effective than it would be if you had to run the generator with an electric heat all right i'm going to go ahead and show them the show them the uh, nice queen size bed it's a, a 54 inch bed so I call it an RV queen. It's a little narrower than the queen I have at home, but it's still a nice size. It's a very nice size bed for two people to comfortably sit on or sleep on, I should say. There's plenty of room even for a guy that my age. And Anna, this, this idea of not bringing a pillow along just isn't very good. We need to... We need to have a pillow so I can actually take a nap during this recording. <laughs> but anyway, you can see where there's plenty of room for two people to uh, sleep very comfortably on this on this bed. Now we got some got some of the plastic cover caught in the latch here, so I need to move it out of the way. All right, we're gonna put the cushions back in place so that we can show two things. One is I like to show people on this big bed, something I started doing years ago, building a big bed, is there's plenty of room for four people to comfortably sit here, either to have dinner or entertain, have play cards, whatever you might do for your social life in here, there's plenty of room to sit down. There's also room, matter of fact, Anna just joined me on the other side, so she's sitting down too. So we could have a, we could have a nice meal. Sometime you're gonna have to cook me a meal in here so we can demonstrate to the people. Oh, she's frowning like maybe I wouldn't wanna. Yeah. <laughs> she says it's a bad idea, but. How uh, bad if she needed to, she could cook up a good meal. So the other thing is that we can uh, kick our shoes off. I haven't, so I'm not going to. But throw your legs up there on the, on the, uh, the bench. Watch TV. Look at the big window. Well, I think ARI would admit that 
that was something that I came up with that I didn't want you to have to lean up or lift up in order to see out I want a person to be able to sit back here relax watch TV and look at the scenery outside so we're putting in a extra big window and then we're putting in uh, an egress window too of course so to help uh, a person in the case of an emergency to get out all right we'll go ahead and move on forward here and <clears throat> we're gonna look at the sink that's here those are looks like a couple of the pads have come loose so we'll take care of that but look at that nice deep sink and i personally i like this type of sink even better than the ceramic or i mean the uh, stainless steel sink but they don't scratch as bad and if they do they can be uh, clean dried up so i like that i also had ari split the uh the cover for the uh induction stove and the reason was twofold first of all when it was a one-piece cover why if you took the plate off you didn't have any counter space and most of the time you're only using one of the two anyway so if you're only using one you still got some nice counter space second is the plate was heavy it was hard it was heavy to lift and get off of there this way it makes it nice and easy to lift it off hey we still got plenty of of uh, storage space look at the cabinets that we have here so in the shell or the drawers so you got room to put things of course we got the silverware drawer and we have it here the one up above so uh, you got plenty of drawers there and then we got the drawers over here too so we got four drawers here so we got a lot of nice storage space hey a couple of things i should have mentioned one is uh you know all the trucks have a bunk heater just like a uh, a factory truck why these trucks also have a bunk heater where the heat is excuse me uh, where the heat is uh, uh, generated from the coolant on the truck engine well there's a control for it right uh, back in the corner and uh, it's uh here we'll show you well you'll need to come back over here because it's right here and and there's the control for it right up right there so but it also has two bunk heaters because when we get into these 156 168s 180s we like to have uh two so that's what we do one control for them and then uh and two uh heaters um again we've got the Onan 7500 watt generator it works great people like it we're going to come on around Anna and we're going to look at the the TV this uh, particular one has a 32 inch flat screen TV you got additional plugins here so that we can uh, uh, plug in a printer or some other device that you might want to have set in there all right we're going to come on up and sit down in the in the truck for a minute and talk about the great features of the Volvo truck. And first of all, I'm sitting in the most comfortable seat that Volvo has ever produced. Uh, it's got more adjustments to it, more ways to make it fit to your particular liking. So people uh, like the seat. Uh, the steering column, you know, Volvo has been known for the steering uh, control for a number of years I mean the steering column control and now they're also have what we call the perfect position steering wheel where you can adjust the head at an angle different from the column so they really like that we've put more and more controls for the truck on the um, on the steering column or the steering wheel I should say so all your crews and um, and the engine brake and your flashing your um, clearance lights and headlights can all be done from this side to your left hand side of the steering wheel the right hand side i've got my radio controls and my dash controls uh, on the right side 
Volvo does not put a dash full of gauges. What they do is give you a dash where you can monitor all of those controls. If we were to turn it on, I don't know if it'll show up or not and on the video, but you can see where there's all the information that you could ever get off of gauges is available to me uh, by the monitor or the display that is here. Um, <clears throat> heated windshield. And then, Anna, I'm going to have you point over to this device right there on the windshield. And that's a rain sensor. So by turning the rain sensor on, whenever the windshield is wet, it's going to cause the windshield wipers to wipe for you. So you don't have to, um, you don't have to keep moving your windshield control or your wiper control lever. It's going to do that for you. It's really making life very, very easy for you. Hey, the other thing is uh, I, for a number of years, was not able to put electronic temperature control in, uh, in these trucks because I started with a day cab. Volvo has made it available to me now. So you can set your temperature. You set it over here on auto. It'll be seeking whether it needs to be uh, on the floor or the or up at the uh, uh, top of the dash and it knows where the cold temperatures are or the hot temperatures are and it'll direct the air out appropriately. Hey, we got a, an FM XM uh, Sirius uh, radio, uh, AM of course too. So you got a, a nice radio that comes in the track. We've got our iShift transmission controls now on the dash on this particular truck. So that's really a nice feature uh, for keeping, you know, the, the steering, or I mean the, uh, the shifting, uh, controls away from the, away from the seat so you can swing out easier. A lot of people appreciate having it on the dash and it has it. One other thing that you'll see that I have on my dash is the controls for the generator. So if you either want to start it or if you accidentally left it on and headed down the road and you want to turn it off, why you can do that right here without having to uh, stop and and pull over or send somebody back to the uh, to the back to do it. So got the generator running now. All right. Um, is there anything I'm missing, Anna? She's uh, shrugging her shoulders like she does. I can't think of anything. But anyway, hey, I am missing one thing, and that's you people. I want to see you come out and uh, look at these trucks, drive them. I promise you, with the new stability control, you're going to be really impressed with how they drive. They've always rode nice, but they uh, needed to be able to to uh, we needed to be able to stabilize some of the sway out of the truck, and uh, that front stabilizing bar just does a beautiful job of it. So. Folks, uh, my name's Rex Rash. I'm with Gator Truck Center. We're located in Des Moines, Iowa. I love talking to you about these custom sleepers. I'd even greater to see you come in and see me and drive one of them, take a look at what we do. I think you can be impressed with uh, the way they're turning out. Thank you and have a great day.